29-year-old Mary Juma loves magazines, as she normally peruses them outside her house, since it's too dark inside because of no windows. But with a plastic bottle fitted in the roof, she can now read them from the comfort of her room. And even her children benefit, since they now can make their homework easily. <laughs> Depending on the sun, the bottle bulb can emit light comparable to a 50-watt glass bulb. The idea comes from 34-year-old Matayo Magalasia from Corogocho. And it's nothing more than a 2-liter soda bottle filled with water. Matayo found the bottle bulb browsing the internet and the invention comes from Brazil. I thought, oh, this idea is good. I looked more, I did my little research on it, then I introduced it to Coach Hope. Coach Hope is a local organization empowering the people in Corogocho. And they saw the importance of a cheap and safe light source. People can't do their work uh, well. They have to use uh, candles, use uh, paraffin lamps, and others use uh, illegal connect, uh, uh, electricity. The bottles are collected from garbage or bought cheap at local shops. After filling them with water, common household bleach is added. It's for preserving the water so that it can last for a long time. It kills all the bacteria in the water. And by doing that, one bottle bulb can last for more than a year. Matayo and his friends go around Corogocha to have them fitted for free. The demand is high because not many people can afford electricity. They quickly got used to the idea of having a bottle mounted in the roof. At the beginning they were scared. Because they thought when it rains maybe it will leak inside the house. We thought it's not leaking, we seal it with silicone. The bottle lights also improve security, since it enables people to stay safely inside. These narrow streets are not safe due to poverty-induced crime. It just happens, like in a second. You're walking on the street and some young man come from the small alleys in the streets and they just mug you. Sometimes they stab you, sometimes they shoot you. This sad reality even struck Coach Hope itself. Their founder, Niaga Kamau, recently was murdered in a gang attack. Everybody's still shocked, but the members of Coach Hope believe that initiatives like the Waterlight will help reducing the violence by offering jobs. We were planning to roll it as a business. So if you go and install a bottle, we'll get something out of it. The police investigation is still ongoing, but so far there are no suspects. Matayo, in the meantime, is dedicated to continue his work. I grew up here, I've seen so many people die, but I can't run away because of my life. Sometimes we have to live for others and we have to live for a just cause. So far, over 100 bottle bulbs are fitted in Corogocho. A milestone for Coach Hope is the introduction of the lights in the primary school. Now the, the children can look at the walls more efficiently. There's light and everything else. Now we can plan efficiently. The aim is to disperse 10,000 bottle bulbs across all the slum areas in Nairobi.